Welcome to Calibrate It and Reverse Pipetting. What is reverse pipetting and when should you use it? Manual pipettes have three main plunger positions or stops. Top, first, and second stops. The movement between the top and the first stop is called the primary stroke, and the movement between the first and the second stop is called the blowout. The primary stroke is set by the micrometer and is responsible for volume. The blowout expels remaining liquid in the tip. Pipettes are most accurate and are calibrated using the forward pipetting technique, the most common method of pipetting. First, to demonstrate forward pipetting, push the plunger from the top to first stop. Put the tip into the liquid and slowly release the thumb knob to aspirate liquid into the tip. Deliver the liquid by pushing to the first stop and then through blowout to the second stop. Reverse pipetting may be more accurate or a better technique when you pipette liquids that are slightly more viscous such as 20% glycerol or blood serum, or when bubbles could cause a problem, such as when reading a 96 well plate. If the liquid is viscous, pipette slower than normal. Also consider this technique when a cross-contamination or infectious biohazardous aerosol could be created if a bubble burst on blowout. To reverse pipette, push the plunger slightly past the first stop. Insert tip in the liquid and slowly aspirate to the top. Dispense liquid to the first stop, leave the remainder in the tip, and repeat the pipetting cycle, or leave the remainder in the tip to discard with blowout. Here it is again. In summary, think about using reverse pipetting when your liquid is slightly viscous, when bubbles could be problematic, and if aerosol could cause a cross-contamination or a biohazard risk. Finally, remember to note reverse pipetting in your methods. For additional pipette support and free online tools, go to calibrateit.com. Anyone with a balance and no training can test their pipette in about two minutes. We provide seriously simple tools for accurate science. Check us out. Thanks for watching and please share or like the video if you find it helpful.